Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're gonna do a review of the first tactical 24 hour pack. Uh, I have had this pack for probably going on a year, maybe a little bit longer, I'd have to look up exactly when I got it. And I've used it in a variety of different circumstances and a variety of different things, and so I thought it was time to kind of do a review of it. Overall, the quick and dirty is I really like it and I'd highly recommend it. Uh, I consider the Rush series by 5.11 to be kind of the gold standard of you know tactical packs. And I really, really like this one and I would certainly put it up there uh, with those and say that it competes uh, very well, if not, if not better. So we'll go through the pack itself and uh, see what it's all about. So starting on the outside of the bag here, you do have some Molly and Velcro right here on the exterior. Uh, with a kind of a gap and then another line of molly down here and you got a name tape a molly line up top uh, I have used this field here usually I'll end up mounting like you know two mag pouches here to put my extra mags I've moved my mags to the side but that's a different deal uh, that's on the exterior there so that that's actually pretty useful molly uh, they do have a just a skinny pocket here for like gloves it goes down to this seam right here where you can see that the uh, sewing comes in that's that whole pocket so that's great for gloves maps hats you know stuff like that kind of thinner flatter stuff up top here this is a let's see if you can make sure you can see that this pouch right here this is fleece lined so i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that but this is fleece lined. that's just for sunglasses and eye pro stuff like that uh, also works great for smaller items like a hat when you open When you open this exterior pouch here, and this is their admin pouch. So it goes down again, it's pretty deep. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see in there, but it, it goes down decently deep. Uh, and here they just have a bunch of things for, you know, pens, little small pockets, two larger dump pouches here, a nice zippered pocket here for stuff that you make sure you don't wanna lose. And that goes down to about this stitching line right here, if you're able to see that comes with the uh, detachable key lanyard and then the permanent one. I like that they do that, that they give you two different options rather than just doing the same thing twice. I like it when companies switch things up a little bit. It makes it more interesting and I think more useful. On the bottom of the pouch, they do have this Velcro pocket here. Uh, and I think this is designed for your rain fly. That's a good place to store your rain fly uh, or your pack cover. So that's just kind of a cool little easy pocket to be able to keep your pack cover on you. Uh, on the bottom, they do have four molly slots, so you can tie a bedroll or whatever. I will say one of the things I really like about this pack is that it's compatible with belt kit. It rides up high enough on your back that if you have a butt pack or pouches or whatever on your kind of sustainment belt gear, um, this will be compatible. It's not gonna interfere, it doesn't ride too low. It rides at a great, great height for that. So even if you were just gonna wear uh, plates in a, in a normal you know, G-Watt battle belt, this will work great too. Uh, in all of those cases, when you have stuff on your belt line, it rides high enough to not interfere. And that's one of the big pluses of this pack that I really like. Uh, on the sides, there, I have pouches on here now, right? But this is Molly from top to bottom uh, so that you can you know, attach various pouches or whatever. And it is four rows across. So that's really nice to be able to attach various things. Like right now, I just have a canteen pouch and a mag pouch. One of the weaker points of the bag, I think, is the compression straps. So it's cool that they come with this little elastic band on them. What I mean by weaker point is there's only one and it doesn't, I can't seem to find the right height. Now it is adjustable. Like you can remove this, right? And move it to a different row of molly. And I like that, that's really cool. But I can't seem to find the right height to really get the bag to compress down. And maybe I need to buy a second set and have two of them to try to tighten the bag up a little bit. And they work okay, but they're not the best. I've definitely seen better systems out there. Coming up on top, this is one of the things I really like about this bag. They give you two handles. Uh, it's the same handle, they just stitch it in twice. One is right on the yoke, and then one's on the bag itself. You wouldn't think that that would really matter much or it's kind of excessive, but I find myself using both of these quite a bit actually. Uh, and I really like this system and I think more packs should do that where they have the, the two handles. It, it just makes life easier, honestly. This is compatible with, with a belt if you want. You can slide your own belt in or you can buckle it in. Uh, I don't use a belt at all, but if that's something you're interested in, you can do that. The padding back here is decent. It's probably closed cell foam. It's probably about a quarter to a half inch somewhere in there. And I've never had a problem with that. Airflow has been 
fine, you know, not perfect, not great, but whatever. Uh, I think they do a great job with the padding. It's, it's certainly been comfortable. For the sternum strap, again, it's just a simple uh, step ladder. I, I like that. I don't like the sliders. Those tend to move on you. But when it's just locked into the step ladder and the different rolls of molly, that's great. It has these elastic bands up here. I've used these several times to route uh, water bladder. So I'll route my water bladder through this, and that fits through great and kind of retains it. All of the buckles are compatible. So this buckle will fit in the compression strap. Right, so if you ever had a, maybe not. Oh, there it goes, the, the elastic was just in the way. But that does work. Um, so if you ever had a buckle get blown out on you or whatever, um, specifically this one, right, you could replace it from somewhere else in the bag and put the new buckle in here. If this one breaks, you're kind of in trouble because it's uh, permanently stitched in here. So this pack does have a uh, pocket right here. You're gonna be able to see that, uh, that this goes in. I've never really used that. Uh, the fr there is an internal frame in here that does come out if you want. I've never taken it out. I'm not gonna take it out. It, it works fine. You know, this, this gives the bag some rigidity, right, to support the weight. Um, it's a plastic frame with, a, I think, a metal middle stay. Uh, not too much to say about that aside from the fact that it, it holds the weight pretty well. And I've had this thing probably up to like 30, 40 pounds, somewhere in there, and it's, it's sustained the weight quite well. So there's lots of generous padding on the shoulder straps, which I appreciate, because again, when you get into those heavier loads, it's nice just to have something that carries the weight. Aside from the main pocket, there's also their pass-through pocket. And what that's designed is to compa uh, be compatible with their other system, where you unzip the top, you unzip the bottom here, which is, hold on. And then you can pass through uh, one of their rifle carriers or something like that, which is a cool ability to use. I've never utilized that, I don't have the extra piece, but it's nice that they have the option. I have used this as the water bladder pouch, so they have these two hooks in here. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see those. And I just ran a piece of old shoelace uh, between them and that's what I've been hanging my water bladder off. So I put my water bladder in this pocket. They don't have, it would have been really nice if they would have had a dedicated water bladder hanger in here that would have made this pocket way better. Um, and then just a way to port your water over. As it is, when I put a water bladder in here, I'll hang it in here and then I'll zip this up, you know, to wherever I can and then just have the hose come out here. It works fine. Uh, it would have been nice to have a dedicated, you know, way to put a water bladder in here. That is, again, one of the slight downsides of this pack, but overall it works well. The zippers are super heavy duty. I'm a big fan of the zippers. I've put a lot of weight and a lot of strain on these zippers and neither the zippers nor this skinny little cord, whatever they use here, has broken. Uh, and I've thought a couple times, man, I'm gonna tear this uh, little pull right off these zippers, but they just keep on ticking. So I really appreciate that they have overbuilt zippers. And again, whatever this cordage is that they're using for these, uh, it might look wimpy, but it actually holds up pretty well and it works really well. So the bag itself zips all the way around and does that 180 degree full open thing. I really like that. That's always nice on these, especially on these 24 hour-ish packs to be able to fully open it and see what you're doing. On the top, they just have a mesh little zip pocket here to be able to put in stuff that you can see. You have two dump pockets. I like that they have this adjustable Velcro thing so you can really cinch it down if you want or let it go. Uh, that's just helpful, I've used that. Like right now I have an emergency bivy in here and it's nice to just be able to stuff it in and then tighten it down so I know it's not going anywhere. The back wall here is all Velcro, like soft Velcro-y. So you can put different Velcro pouches on here, which is really cool. I uh, haven't utilized that too much, but it's nice to be able to have an option. So if you wanted to make this like a medical bag, this would be a very viable option because you could have different Velcro insets in here and you still have these other pouches over here and you could just rip this whole thing open and get to what you need. Uh, so it is nice that they give you those organization options. Overall, like I said, I really like the pack. If you're at all looking at it, I think they're going for like 120, 140, somewhere around there. Would highly recommend it, like it a lot, and I will continue to use this pack. I definitely wanna look into the three-day pack at some point, just because I really like the construction of this bag, and I like the way that they have made it. It has held up great through multiple trips and uses and abuse, and would highly recommend it to you. I hope that's helpful. Do brave deeds.
and endure.